What's up everybody? My name is Synapse and we're here doing a video on some text to binary binary to text using decimal. So basically numbers. The uh, binary we're going to be changing and converting is the binary here that you can see. It's this long number that has a bit of effects on it. Just I wanted it to look cool, okay? Don't worry. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's make a workspace for ourselves. We take the binary code. What we do with it is... I'm going to explain this the way I learned it. So, th there is three letters. Okay? Now, if we count how many numbers there are, it's 24. So, we take 24, divide it by 3, and if it comes out with a proper number, then we know how many numbers one letter or one symbol has so let's do it we take it and we go add some dots okay next thing we're gonna do we're gonna divide it by 20 well okay so the 24 divided by 3 which equals 8 digits okay so we know that each letter or symbol is 8 digits this is how I learned it by the way Okay, so let's separate the numbers. Each one of these sections of numbers equals a letter. Now it's a three word letter. Just to get it into your mind, it's pretty damn easy. By the way, spaces also come in this form. And you have to put them in the right order. So like, if you want a space in between these, you put it here. In between these two, you put it here. Um, but when you put the numbers together, don't do any spaces. Okay, nice. Alright, let's go to the next part. How do we work out this? Let's find out. Okay, guys. So, let me just take away all this stuff, actually. I'm going to get rid of everything apart from this. Just for later on. You'll see. Okay, so we have three numbers. Right, three sections of numbers, which I'll get back to. Okay. I'll explain this first. So, here we have a table. This table contains decimals, hexadecimals, uh, hexadecimals, octals, and they equal these charts. So, like, each one of these equals this in hexadecimal. Let you go 22, it equals 16 in hexadecimal. And it equals 0 to 6 in octal, which also equals sin, which is synch uh, synchronous idle, which we're not going to be using. We don't need to do that stuff. So, um, we're going to put on the screen only what we need, uh, leaving this part here. Um, viewable, but it's fine. We don't need that stuff. So, okay, boom. We're doing decimal to char, which is letters and numbers. Well, not fully numbers, but letters and yeah. Okay, we we'll just say letters. Okay, so this table, I use it to convert my numbers, or well, my letters to numbers, and then convert the numbers into decimal, uh, into binary. Okay, so let's do it. Let's look at an example here. We've got A. Okay. As you can see here, A equals 55. Uh, 65. 65, okay. So now how do we get that to binary, you ask? Okay, so we go through this table. Now it's good to have one of these tables because I don't really do it in my head much. But I found it quite easy to do using a table. So you go from left to right and we'll figure out how it works so does 65 go into 128 no it doesn't so what we do we put a zero there as you notice guys there's eight columns um because <coughs> it's eight digits 64 does 65 go into 64 it does with remaining one okay so now we have one left right so 65 take away one E uh, take away 64 equals 1. So we know we've got 1 left. And it doesn't go into 32. Nope. Does it go into 16? Nope. There ain't enough. 8? Nope. 4? Nope. 2? Nope. But it goes into 1. Okay? So that's how to convert to binary. But if you didn't catch that fully, I'm going to help you do it again. Uh, wrong one. Okay. I'll just uh, minimize that one. Okay. Next one. We'll do B for an example. By the way, it's the same as this, but these are just bigger numbers. Okay, so B. What we do, we look onto the chart for B, 
you see B, we go across and it equals 66. So, put it into the table. Does 66 go into 128? No, it doesn't. Does it go into 64? Yes, it does. With the remaining 2, does it go into 32? No, it does not. Does it go into 16? No, it doesn't, because we've only got 2. 8? No. 4? No. 2? Yep. And there's nothing left, so we just put a 0. Okay, so that's how to convert from text to binary. Now binary to text. So, I've got some other examples for this. I'm going to convert the word that I showed you in earlier uh, using these numbers. Let me just move them for you. Okay, that didn't work. Come down here. Uh, this one. Okay, first first one. It's zero one zero 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 one. Okay. Okay. Let's focus on this one. So we enter the digits. Okay. So we've entered it into our table. Now, how do we convert it? You ask. What we're going to do? We're going to take. We're going to see, and look for ones. Zeros are just placeholders. Okay. So one. Which equals 144, uh, 64. So we have 1 times 64. We have 1 times 1. Right? So it's basically 64 plus 1 equals 65. Now if we go into our table and we look for 65 down the list, we find it equals A. Okay? Next. We do the next. Okay. So we look at our table again. We go, okay, there's 1 here, there's 1 here. That's 64 and 4, which equals 68. We go into our table, we look at and we find D. So it's AD at this moment in time. Let's go to C. Okay, so 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so look at the ones. 64 plus 2 equals 66. Plus 1 equals 67. So we look at our list for 67 and it's C, which equals ADC. So that means this code, this binary code right here, equals ADC. Okay, guys, let me just uh, just add that for you so you guys can see. This one equals A, this one equals D, this one equals C. Okay, so how do we do, how do we put the spaces and stuff, if you want to know that? We just look in our list again, which I'll get rid of this stuff. Okay, so if we want to do a space, we look at 32 which is here, 32 equals a space, so we go through this list, this would be 0, 0, 1, and then all the remaining would be 0, so it would be 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and that is how you do chars and text to decimal, binary, okay, so if you have any problems with this or you want me to do a more for all um, tutorial, please do tell me, and I can do that for you sure, uh, soon. I'm going to try and work out how to do hexadecimal. I try to work out the ways of the hexadecimal, and then I will make a video on it, and hopefully octal as well. Uh, but I've got to learn them first, which I'm going to take my knowledge from learning decimal into hexadecimal. Has a different type of um, table. By the way, we haven't used this table. That's just because we haven't need to do, we haven't done anything big. If we were to do my name, for instance, I'd put my name D-A-Y-L-E, and then I'd put each binary number here, and after, I would just slot them all together, and it would make the big-ass binary code. But uh, if you want more examples, please do ask. Hopefully it was good, and it was easy to understand. But if you have any problems, you comment below and I will help you as soon as possible. Okay, make sure you do that. Thank you. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed your day and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks, guys. Peace.